Y'all, I just needed to get on this camera real fast. Um, with the election results. Um, I know it's not what everybody was expecting, but I just want to say that we shouldn't allow those results to determine our future. Um, we, not, we should not see it as suffering. We should see it as it's time to to do whatever you gotta do to put your put yourself in a higher position like don't sit there and settle because again but <laughs> with the majority of the senate being republicans right it's a potential that that project 2025 might go into effect go eat your food baby and throw that away Go throw that away. Yes. And within Project 2025, for people who are like me, who are on government assistance for housing, if you're receiving food stamps, um, yeah, that will be out the window maybe by next year. Um, and then you also got Trump wanting to get rid of department of education please 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 by all means do whatever research i have to do in order to protect your kids and also yourself it's sad to say but you know it's it sucks that we have to <laughs> it really sucks that we have to sit there and really start scrambling to prepare for what's going on or well, what's going on and what's going to happen to me but if you are someone that believes in Jesus and God I would say it's happened to that Bible it's happened to that Bible and And just hope for the best. And continue to just put your trust in God. Because I kid y'all not. I am someone who overthinks a lot. And I'll overthink myself into an anxiety attack. And like for some reason, I didn't do that today. Because I kid y'all not, as soon as I woke up, of course, I went on to social media because I find out almost everything from social media regarding to what's going on in the world. And when I saw Trump has been reelected, I just said, God, please just guide me. Just guide me, Lord, and protect my family and my friends like just protect us all because what what protect us and guide us because this this is not what we're expecting okay i'm coming the um Just be prepared for a lot of changes. Like I'm really, really, really hoping that that project 2025 doesn't really go into effect because that would hurt a lot of people. It would hurt a lot of people. Like they don't understand like with this economy, it's hard to put groceries on the table after paying your bills. It's hard to live it's really hard and just to think that there's a potential that that can get taken away is it's sad but again lock get locked into that bible and just keep praying i don't know how many times i have been in a hardship and where I'll just go ahead and turn to God and just pray. 
pray, 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 pray. And uh, maybe a couple minutes later or an hour later, he answers that prayer. <sighs> and then with women's rights, ladies, please, 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 please be responsible. Please be responsible. Because the last thing you need is to have someone tell you what you can and cannot do with your body. If you know you don't want to have no baby, please use protection. Please, please. Please, because I was even shocked to see that New York wanted to ban abortions. Like, I didn't even know that was going on until I started seeing my emails. And I got text messages telling me what to say yes to. And I was like, what? What? Correct me if my if I'm wrong because I know if they're gonna ban abortions or if they try to ban abortions, right? They're gonna also take away birth control that women will need for hormonal issues and like for anything else, like this it's a lot though but it's a good thing it's a good thing that you know new york is protected for the abortions and stuff i saw the rate like the for what one um they're for keeping abortions um but just to see what kind of mindset the sin is on it's like you gotta put yourself in a position where you don't need the government do whatever you gotta do do whatever whatever is coming into your mind and your heart or whatever you told me to god about and god is showing you to go ahead and do it please do it don't don't rely on government assistance no more because you gotta just stay prepared so you don't have to get ready. All I could say is, God bless us all. And we're going to get through these four years. Do we? There they are.